I've started this washy wash painting of the Suffolk type of beach, Suffolk, Norfolk, East Anglia. I want a darkish sort of sky. I've, I've wet the paper because I'm using the Bockingford rough. I don't usually, uh, well, I haven't so far used used it for wetting wet, or particularly. I've used the the Fabriano, which is very suitable. But I love the uh, the effect that you can get with this paper because it's it's Bockingford. It's it's a rough version. You can exploit the uh, the roughness of this paper as we progress into the into the dry brush areas. Now I wanted a dark sort of brooding sky with this. Um, so I'm taking a few liberties with uh, the colours here. I hope this doesn't go colour for our event. I'm using mainly blue and Payne's grey for for this. It's a threatening sky, and I could even when that's dry, I can go over that with a bit of dry brush. Uh, I'll, I'm going to give it a dry off now, because the idea of wetting it first, apart from getting lovely soft washes is to expand the paper evenly rather than just a bit where I'm putting the wet on. So. Um, a, a round brush to put in this background of uh, this, the, the horizon, but it's a nice deep sea. I've been reading a, a book about the uh, Falklands, well not Falklands, the, the development and the demise of this government's hand of, of a Harrier aircraft, this wonderful vertical takeoff jet that could could um, fly backwards as well and it was scrapped by this lot in 2010 and I'm reading in the book there's quite a bit of info on the uh, Falkland War regardless of what you think of it it was just a description that he gave of the ink blue inky black blue sea in the South Atlantic and, and I, I, I just to, to, to try to do something like this now. We're playing around the houses, um, so we'll have we'll have some blue. So just for this, uh, uh, I dried it off because I don't want it to blend. <laughs> Leave a little bit of a margin where it reaches the sea. Now I'll go in with some sort of greeny colour here. Go around the house, a couple of boats here. green as we come into the uh, shore. Now 
Now good green is uh, burnt umber or burnt sienna, lemon yellow and, and Payne's grey. Just a bit of dark shadow in the uh, trees here. Right, so let's put in a bit of uh, beach now. That's what you you'd find very hard to do with um, With the uh, Fabriano, it's just a bit too smooth for this sort of work. And we'll, uh, a nice bit of uh, yellow in there, a bit of uh, I'll put some lightish beach colour in here and then I'll uh, put in the shadow cast by the uh, cloud which will give some sort of form to the beach. It's in Just, just a bit of bit of hard dry brush. And just uh, it's all the detail I'm going to going to put really on on, on this. It's a uh, don't want to. Overwhelm it with the uh, shadow, but which I'm just doing now. We need to put in a bit of grey ochre beach there. Well, this, uh, the, the tide's coming in about here, but we want to, we want to show some sand and. sure whether uh, uh, what I want to do on the, uh, here is I've done it in a previous painting is to use a bit of gouache but to use gouache you've got to put it against dark so I'll just bring some of that sky that watercolour, what well, I mean watercolour, some of this uh, sea here, uh, further down here. So that when I put in 
some white, it will show up a bit against the darker, the darker brooding sea. That's got a little bit hard edge there. I, don't, I, that's a, I might have to alter that when when, uh, when it's all dry. Well, I'll go ahead to do some of the buildings now. Let, let's use a use a small brush for, for the roof. Uh, bit of burn umber, I think. Bit of red. So the front of the building is going to be a bit of a, a smoky sort of colour. Now we'll have a go of putting these, these boats in. Just, just get that on there. Not sure if I'm really happy with this. Uh, so we'll have a, a sort of a, a off-white hull. Oh, it's a horrific wind outside. There, and they have a blue one, I think, by way of a change. And Shadow there. <coughs> now um, I'll put in some some masts of but quite not too dark. Main thing is keeping the hairs and bristles of the flat brush I'm gonna use together. Little bits of dark boats. Oh, 
might have a juicy rig of that. The rig I can be quite free in, but it, it does do everything. You see the little boats here, shadow. Now, um, I want to see if I can, without ruining it, just see if I can soften this here, this is just a bit. not going very well. I'm going to put in some dry brush now on the uh, clouds. So just grey and brown. Just overdo it, I'm over, really overdoing it now, see what, what sort of effect we can get with it. Okay, and if we get any more than that, we'd uh, be to ruin it even further. Um, right, a bit of uh, gouache now in that area. That, that's gone very, very dirty. It's my fault entirely. Um, let's see. Well, um, gouache. I've got this very large tray here. And I'm going to uh, use a, a, a small worn out brush here. I've got some hard gouache that I've squeezed out over the uh, weeks and months. So I'm just, just softening it. Just a nice bit of water. Showing some some windy wind spin drift. The, the uh, seas all down around the west country are really raging. But if you're British, you don't have to be told that. Uh, these little uh, white horses out here. And then... The 
very, very unlikely this, this will show up white against this bit of a beachy uh, area. You really need to leave, use it straight out of the tube so there's a bit of impact like that. Put a little bit of, uh, I'll put a tiny bit of uh, shadow in front of this. I'll try some straight from the tube because I some uh, some masks across the dark Oops, sorry. Uh, now, a bit more the dry brush on here, I think, because it's, it, it's I'm struggling with this one. I think you'll have to agree. That's it. Oh, now the rain started. Just to add insult to injury. Well, I'll put it in a mount in a moment. I just want to see if I can brighten up the horizon and by putting on some some brave yachts, yachtsmen. Another couple of uh... 
Right, I don't think I can do much more to it than that. I'll sign it. Um, now, just one little uh, refinement is. Uh, with a mountain. Eh? <coughs> right, that's that's the best I can do with that. I'll, let's just move that up a little bit. Oh. Well it doesn't look too bad. Um, it sort of reflects the um, the, the, the weather, the, the feeling that spring is still a long way off and the country being lashed with storms or southern England, southwest England, all up the channel across France, part northern France. Lots of flooding, so it's not a good uh, time to be to so optimistic. But the spring will come. Anyway, I hope you got something out of that. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Oh, I just, I'll just zoom in and show you what I've done. Let's just um, right. So there's me. There are my buildings. Little boats there, just on the uh, on the on the heart on the on the sand shingle. It it looks better on the screen that it does in real life I have to say but anyway for better or for worse thanks for watching bye bye